Now, let's just look at the way game in a nutshell. So teams try to discover the secret identity of the mystery kid by winning clues to their identity. Two teams of students compete in seven popular games. Teams are evaluated by three student judges who award clues for games won. When the mystery kid is identified, a new game starts. Answer it's our first game. It's based on Trivial Pursuit. I'm not going to read about play, judges, and examples. You can do that yourselves. You'll probably have questions about rules, but that's where your creativity comes in as you fill in the blanks and make up your own rules and procedures as you go along. Game cards turn students into producers of learning content. They develop a sense of service in students. Technical and creative skills are developed. I call game cards works of art and science. Imagine being able to recall what you've learned in school years later. So here's a pull tab. We use pull tabs to play the way game with the class smart board. Here's a look with the tabs pulled. Notice three Q and A's are the teacher's choice wild card means the student gets to pull all tabs or if there's nothing there they like they choose a classmate with way cards who then chooses the activity from their game cards pull tabs and q a's are changed weekly act is loosely based on the game of charades two teams improvise a scene and teams are judged on their performance Here's a sample acted pull tab. For this game, try and select situations that reflect roles and time periods of what is being studied. Empathy, that is putting yourself in someone else's shoes, is the goal. Draw it. Simply ask students to draw or represent a person, place, or thing as best as you can while working with a teammate under time pressure. We're not looking for works of art here. Spell it is an old-fashioned spelling bee, but notice how students are group peer evaluating game cards. They are voting for the best game cards with poker chips. You, you can use anything really, you don't need poker chips. In question it teams alternate asking yes, no format questions to the judges and through a process of elimination narrow down the fields until you can guess the person, place, or thing, which of course is related to recent lessons. In the picture, the girls are scoring game cards with game card rubrics and entering scores and advice for game card growth on cardboards. In Speak It, one team leaves the room while the other team gives a speech on a given topic. Teammates share the stage when speaking. The other team's in the hall so they don't get an unfair advantage by listening to the first team speech. You'll notice in the background, one year we decided to uh, make stickers to award uh, game cards with the best design and the best Q&As. Move it, groove it. This is a physical challenge or a musical challenge. Sing, dance, tap out a beat. Other things like most sit-ups, paper ball and a garbage can toss. The best challenges are related to a topic of study, but can be just random challenges. This cardboard you see here is uh, an older model. The design has since changed. 